And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have to switch to English language because we will start our presentation round in English language for our international guests and the international delegations. I say a happy welcome, a warm welcome to all of you who found the way to the Frankenhalle in the fairground exhibition place of Nuremberg. Yeah, the next topic, and Peter also mentioned it, is virtual commissioning to avoid errors, reduce risks, risk, save time, and that's your motivators to do a virtual commissioning. My colleagues who will be up on stage soon um, will show you how you validate and optimize your automation solution. So please welcome up on stage Annemarie Lötsch and Stefan Schott. <laughs> Hello and a very warm welcome at our presentation about virtual commissioning. I am Anne-Marie. And I am Stefan. Virtual commissioning, something that seems to be from outer space. Outer space? Hmm. So who of you is a Trekkie? Huh? Are there some? Hand sign? OK, no Trekkie today. We must also admit we are no Trekkies, we are Czechies. And so this is why we want to explain to you how virtual commissioning works in detail in the next 10 minutes. So virtual commissioning, this is something completely new. Something that enables you to do things you've never done before. And something that will make your work life soon much, much easier. To show you how virtual commissioning works, of course, we need a machine. Here, the fair, we have a real machine. It's over there, the TIA portal. But yeah, as you can see, you can't see anything. It's too far away. But we can change that very quickly. We can load the machine digitally onto these glasses here. You could even say that I'm looking into the future while you watch it live. And I don't need a crystal ball to do so. All I need are these. So you see, the future is not that far away after all. You just need to look closely. So all that I can see through these glasses, you're also able to see on the screen here. So first of all, I see all of you. Give us a wave. Hi. <laughs> and here comes the machine. Wow, so isn't that impressive? Cool, we have a digital twin of our machine here. Our machine is a combination of a conveyor belt. We have a robot in there and also a portal picker. Of course, the machines in your plants can be very different. So please see this machine just as an example. To develop such a machine, many departments are involved. So first of all, we have, of course, the mechanical design. Then we have the guys or the girls from the electrical planning. And in the end, a team of automation engineers that is doing the automation. And only if everybody works together perfectly, also our machine will work perfectly in the end. So let's take a look how it works so far. Here we can see a real application from the electronics industries. And as you can see, it's a pick and place application with the portal picker and the big robot. Oh gosh, OK. That doesn't work so good after all. There was a crash. And of course, this should not happen. To prevent that, we would first test the whole process virtually. That way, the machine would only crash in the virtual world, and we could optimize it before we actually build it. This kind of simulation-based testing offers you several advantages. First of all, the mechanical design and the automation engineering can work at one machine at the same time. So they, for example, develop and also improve functions synchronously. This avoids errors, and in the end, also saves errors costs for you. The second big advantage is that with a virtual commissioning, we can prepare the real commissioning and lower risks for it by, for example, doing a virtual operator training in advance. And the best thing is, this can be all done without building a real prototype of the machine. Exactly. But now, let's take a look at how such a test actually works. So we take another look at the very near future. We will test the controller now. The context in which this, this uh, simulation is performed is also very important. You want to test your controller in all different scenarios, from simple to complex. First, in a logical unit. Yeah. 
then in the context of a machine, and finally, the entire system. And the TIA portal supports you in the entire process. But now, let's get to work. We want to test the logic of our controller here in the operation of our conveyor belt. For this, we use the PLC SIM Advanced software. With that, you can completely simulate the functionalities of your controller. In our case, it is a Simatic S7-1500. Or to say it in other words, the PLC SIM Advanced software is the virtual controller for our Simatic S7-1500 controller family. Functions to test program code are already integrated in TIA portal. But instead of connecting a real PLC to the TIA portal now, we can run the test with our virtual controller, PLC SIM Advanced. In that way, you can use, for example, force tables to check whether the logic of the conveyor belt is working properly or not. And you know what? This also works for communication and for fail-safe functionalities. And you can even test know-how projected function blocks from third-party companies because they also fit seamlessly into the test environment without revealing the original programming know-how. And it went very quickly, too. That's partly because no adjustments are needed for the simulation in PLC SIM Advanced. You import your programming exactly the way it is without making any changes at all. So we have finished the simulation of our logic, and our conveyor belt works. And we can also see that our conveyor belt works in the simulated operator panel. Because here's another big advantage of the TIA portal. We can simulate all operating devices by just the click of a button. But now, let's proceed to the simulation of your controller in the context of a machine. Here, you want to test a more complex function. Let's say the portal picker. This exceeds the limits of our imagination. However, a 3D depiction of our machine makes it easy to check the logic. This is realized by the combination of PLC SIM Advanced and NX Mechatronic Concept Designer, a simulation software and called NX MCD for short. In NX MCD, you model the physical and kinematic behavior of your machine. With this combination, you can control the virtual portal picker with the virtual controller PLC SIM Advanced. And this also brings a number of advantages to you. First of all, you can validate the timing processes in your machine. So you can see whether the different processes, movements, and motion controls perf are matching perfectly together. And um, in this way, of course, you also avoid mistakes. And the second big advantage is that you can also easily assess different optimization scenarios for your automation functionalities. And again, all without requiring a real prototype of our machine. And you don't even need those prototypes if you want to simulate an entire system. Let's add a robot as an additional component to our machine. You could even simulate a robot that is not controlled by a Simatic S7-1500. You integrate all these components into your simulation with the Technomatics Process Simulate software. With that, you simulate the functionalities of your robot and the interaction with other components. And so you can see if the robot's motion and the movement on the conveyor belt are matching together perfectly. And of course, you can also see if, for example, the work pieces are positioned in the right way. And do you want to know what are the advantages here? Because there are some. With the combination of Technomatics Process Simulate and PLC Sim Advanced, you can validate the complete process chain in a robot cell. And you can even simulate, for example, many machines side by side. In this way, you can check your complete system. Yes, and that's it. Now we've finished the virtual commissioning. It was that easy. Indeed, Anna-Marie. Everything seems to, easy, to be easier in the future. At least that was my impression I got from Starship Enterprise. But this here is not science fiction. 
The digital model of our machine opens up completely new possibilities. I would, I would like to invite you to take a look at this. Imagine you're a machine builder, and you're in a sales meeting together with your customer. Now, what would your sales argumentation make even more convincing? In times of digitalization, individualized machines are commonly known. With a digital model, you could configure and customize the machine together with your customer. And you could show him or her directly what his or her machine can actually do and what it will look like in the end. And if this is not a convincing enough for you, I even got something else. You could offer to train the machine operator even on this digital model. That way, you ensure that the future machine operator will be familiar with the machine before it is commissioned for the very first time. Now, isn't that cooler than the holodeck on the enterprise? It definitely is. But now we have talked enough about simulation. Now we want you to experience the wide range of virtual commissioning possibilities that we offer. Therefore, we invite you to have a look at the future already today and visit our real system at the TIA portal courtyard. We have also two ladies here that will guide you to go to courtyard if you can't find your way on your own. We will be also here there and, of course, very happy to explain you the full possibilities of virtual commissioning. Thank you for your intention. Live long and prosper. <laughs>